So let's see if how it takes that. It says it's correct. All right. Um, and and so that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm I'm learning by looking at each example, and I'm gaining practice. And it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty cool uh, program that Mr. Johnson has here. Uh, they also have merchandise. Um, so like let's say you want to help a brother out and you want to buy a t-shirt from him. Um, these are the different uh, ones he has. And $22.99, you get the opening line of the Aeneid scan for your shirt. You can be the talk of your neighborhood if you want to be, uh, which I think is, uh, is pretty cool too. So what I would recommend doing is uh, reading um, um, the papers I gave you from yesterday. I would go through his video a time or two, um, watch it. Normally in class, I'll play it two or three times in a row, and we'll remark about different features of it so that when I do uh, go to do the um, line scansion, I have some idea of what I'm doing right and have some idea of what I'm doing wrong. Now, big picture. Let's say that this is worse than going to have your uh, wisdom teeth yanked out without any type of uh, medicine involved and you just want to have nothing to do with it. Well, usually on an AP exam, you'd be looking at one or two questions in total. Um, I think on this particular version that we'll be seeing, uh, you're only going to see one. Um, so, you know, it's easy points if you like doing it. Um, but if you don't want to give yourself a headache over it, you don't want to think about it, then you can just let it go. Um, I'm still following the chat in the AP teacher's cl uh, classroom. Uh, a lot of the things that they've given us now are useless. Uh, all the multiple choice questions, practices, that kind of thing. The um, analytical essays, there aren't even going to be a part of the exam. Um, so I'm going to be hitting you with FRQs uh, 4 and 5. We've done two fours, and um, starting next week, we'll, we'll do a couple of fives. And um, I'm probably going to have you do uh, probably one a day at some point as we get closer to the exam date. Um, our exam is still May 12th, uh, so uh, you'll be definitely taking it um, on that day. I think you have an option of also taking it in June if you want to, but I really wouldn't recommend that. You're going to find that as, uh, as you get further away, this stuff's going to sort of drop slowly from your head. Um, I don't really have anything else to say for you today. I'm going to let you go. Uh, take care. Be safe. If it's a beautiful weekend out there, go out there, get some sun. I know that um, there are some uh, really... Uh, nice restaurants that are open. If you have some money, go out there and get you something quality to eat. Or um, um, hopefully you do have. Um, I know one of the things that's kind of scary is a lot of folks don't have any money and uh, they're trying to survive. Uh, especially if you're like um, in the food and bev industry, um, I'm sure that uh, you'll see. Um, a lot of really good deals out there. There's a uh, barbecue place that just opened up down Highway 17 that's been doing some really good specials, but um, this really isn't the time to be opening up a restaurant. Uh, they have a drive through and they sell ribs and things of that nature, pulled pork. Um, but yeah, so, so be safe, take care of yourself. And if you need anything or if you have any questions, just shoot me an email and I'll get right back to you. Uh, you guys have a great weekend.